friends. Welcome to Boots and Bonnets with Chris and Christy. I'm Christy and hopefully you are a subscriber and we are already friends. Today we are going to be dehydrating onions and I've already cut up a ton of onions. <laughs> I've been crying and all that stuff. But these are from our garden. I've got two bowls already. So aren't those beautiful? These are yellow onions and I'm going to show you how I cut them up. Um, just take, cut off the root end, cut off the other end, and then I just cut it right in half, that. I peel off the outer layer. Sometimes it's thick, sometimes it's thin. So that one seemed to be kind of, I don't know, medium. We'll do the other one. I cut these pretty big because when you dehydrate the onions, um, if you want to use them for soups or something, you want them to have a good, you know, you want them to be a good size. But if you're going to be using them like, you know, in a diced way that you would need like for hamburger meat or tacos or whatever, then uh, you can always just take that dried onion and just crumble it. And uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So we're going to take this side and we're going to do it in... Sometimes I do it in twos, sometimes I do it in three, so we'll do it in, we'll do each one. Now, when you go to separate it, you wanna make sure you separate each layer. It'll just dry better. I love dehydrating. I've been dehydrating and I've been canning for a couple of weeks now. I've been getting everything out of our garden. I have dehydrated potatoes and citrus and, well, you just name it. So, in canning, we've been canning too. I didn't wash these before because you pull off that outer layer, so that's really not necessary. And onions are very, very watery. They're, um, well, majority of the, your onion is water, so it's going to shrivel up to nothing. These two bowls will probably be a half a bowl when we're done. We'll see how much we have. So just get all the layers done. That way they will dry evenly. Sometimes when you get to the very middle of that onion, it's kind of um, stuck together, kind of little. Okay, behind me, I don't know if you can see very well, I'll show you in a moment all the stuff I've been dehydrating. Okay, so that's all the onions. I'm gonna save the rest of my onions for fresh stuff. But I think these two bowls, they're pretty full. Um, we're gonna just stop at that. I'm gonna show you real quick what I've been working on and then we're gonna head out to the dehydrator. This is a small dehydrator that I have and I really, really like it and I keep it in the house. It's a Weston. And it has like six trays and actually I have potatoes in there right now. I've finished up this morning. Um, if you want to know how I dehydrate my potatoes, there is a video on that. Um, over here I have my, I have some potatoes and I just put them in a jar and vacuum sealed them. And then I have some citrus of grapefruit, orange, lime, and they just turned out really, really pretty. Um, and then we can some uh, jalapeno peppers made some salsa, got canned squash. So if you wanna see any of these videos, they are on there. All right, let's head outside to the big dehydrator. We're out here in the shop and then I keep the commercial uh, dehydrator out here. It's a Cabela's uh, one. I don't know if you can see it with a reflection, but we have several trays in here. And um, it, it'll, it'll do a lot at one time. So we're gonna start uh, filling these trays and get it started. Okay, because I don't have the mats to put on this commercial one, I'm just gonna use some parchment paper and we're gonna lay some down. 
I'm not going to worry about this hole that's in the middle. Um, that's for when you have a ton of stuff you're doing, and we're probably not going to have but more than maybe three or maybe four trays. And so there's going to be plenty of airflow in there, so you don't have to worry about that. So that fits perfectly on there. Now, uh, when you do other dehydrating, you have to worry about it not touching, your food not touching with onions. Um, they go so fast that you really don't have to worry about that. So you can just really pile them on and they will shrink and shrivel down to really nothing. So you can just pile them on just like this. Some people blanch their onions before they do this and that cuts down on the smell. Um, the smell's not going to bother me because it's going to be out here in the in the shed if i was doing them in the house and maybe in my small dehydrator i might would blanch them for just not even a minute you want to do it really really fast because um you don't want to uh you know them to cook down to nothing okay there's one tray i'm going to insert All right, we have our four trays in here, so we are gonna go ahead and set, close the door and set our timer. Um, I want these to go as low as it can. Now, it says the actual temperature, uh, 100, and that's because it's hot out here. It's very hot. But we're gonna set our time. Let's set our time for, oh, let's just go for about 10 hours or whatever, because I'm gonna be out here to check it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then we're going to do our time. Uh, we're going to uh, do it at probably, let's, uh, since it's already 100, let's add, let's do it about, hmm, um, let's go as low as 140, okay? And then we are, we are good. So we'll be out here and see how they, um, oh, that's 12 minutes. We want longer than that. We want hours. Let's go for longer than that. There we go. Let's just go for eight hours. All right. Okay, we'll be back later. Okay, this is almost done. See how they've shrunk down? A big old pile just went to this. We're gonna let them go a little bit longer. Some of them aren't crispy yet. They're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. They're pretty crispy. That one, it's pretty crispy, but might could stand a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these in the house and sort them, a majority of them are done. And then maybe just put the, maybe a few that is not done um, in the home, in the, in the one in the house. So let's get these out. this um, tray out here so we could catch what we wanted to I want to kind of see we brought if you remember we brought two of these bowls out here so I want to show y'all how how much it goes down one tray so this is how many we get we get less than half of what we brought out here so I did I did raise the temperature up to about 150 155 right before we went to bed and um, um, there a majority of these are done so let's go in the house and let's go ahead and sort them all right, we're in here, and so now we're just going to pour all of these in here. 
and then I'm going to put the ones that I feel like really need to be dehydrated longer in this bowl. And it's, it's easy to tell. You can just feel the difference. Like those right there. It's probably the real thick pieces. And it's amazing how much this goes down that this was a regular size onion. And then to dehydrate these, you would just put them in a bowl. Look how it blisters up first and then. And uh, you would just put these in a bowl of water and hydrate them for, uh, you know, a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and source these and then I'll show you how I'm going to store these. Okay, so what I, how I store these is I get me whatever size jar that you wanted to use. Um, I'll use, for, for video purpose, I'll just use this small one. And I'm gonna put these in there really just a couple at a time just to make sure I didn't overlook any because if there's even one in there it'll mold and then you've done all your work for nothing so you just go through here real carefully and make sure that they're really dry and then after you do that um we'll pretend that this is more onions this is actually potatoes that i had just finished up you just get you a lid, and I try to use jars that are actually cannon jars just so I can save my cannon jars. And I put my lid on there, and you're going to do what we call conditioning. And you're just going to put your lid on there, and uh, and then set it, set it on your cabinet, and just go by, you know, just kind of shake it every little while for about a day or two. And if you see any condensation come up on this jar, then you know that there's something in there that needs to go back in the dehydrator, okay? And it will it will mold. So, after it's been a couple of days and you've been doing that and you don't see any condensation, um, you can seal it. This is one I have sealed that I've done back a few weeks ago. And the, the way I seal it is I have this food saver here. And it comes... With, well, mine, I ordered it separate, but here's the food saver and this little hole right here. Um, you have this hose and uh, you just put it, you take your your band off, of course. We could even just store it, store it like this. And then you um, put this on here and push your button and it sucks all the air out and it seals your jar. Okay? So, and um, you, can, you can do it in multiple jars like what I'll probably do with these onions is I'll probably do that small jar to keep in my kitchen, and then I'll probably do some uh, a large jar so um, and keep in my in my stockpile, and that way majority of them stay sealed. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty much it, and um, this is easy and it takes up a lot less space than, than you would if you put it in your freezer or uh, you know did something else with them so all right we hope you have enjoyed this video and we will see y'all next time until then keep looking to the east bye